today we are making a chunky fluffy crochet bag which i like to call my cloud bag i'll be putting the dimensions and specific material details in the description first you need a bernat chunky yarn or you could find any yarn that looks like this then we need an eight millimeter crochet hook and a big crochet needle now the first step is to make a slip knot for those who don't know how to do it just put two fingers inside a loop in order to pull another loop out then you basically take your crochet hook put it inside the loop and make sure that the part of the loop that is in front of you is the one that is moving now you're just gonna make 25 chains for the base to do a chain you just have to grab some yarn and pull it through the loop that you've already made and just do it 25 times now that we've finished 25 chains, it should be around this long. And now we're going to build the bag from the bottom up. We're going to do a half double crochet on the second loop from the chain that you're on. To do a half double crochet, just grab some yarn, put your hook through the loop. Now you have three on the hook, and then you just grab more yarn and feed it through all three. You're just going to do this all the way till you get to the end of the chains that you've made. The half double crochet stitch is basically what we're going to be using for the whole bag other than the slip knots and the chains. It just makes it a lot easier and it makes it so much quicker to finish as well. So I got to the other end of the chain and I did not do the last stitch yet because we are going to be putting three half double crochets into that one loop that little tail of the yarn like where we first started i'm just going to be feeding that into all of my stitches so that i don't have to weave it at the end it just makes it look so much cleaner and i just have an easier time once you're done putting the half double crochets into that one loop you're gonna start making half double crochets on this side now and continue all the way till you get to the other end okay so now i'm finished and i'm just putting my last stitch in and then we're going to join the two ends together by doing a slip knot so you put your crochet hook grab the yarn and pull it through all the way to the other side now this just join the two ends together and now you're done with the base. To continue going up, chain one and then flip your work over and then make a half double crochet. And then you're just gonna keep making half double crochets all the way around until you are back to where you started. So once you're done that step, it's gonna look like this. It's kind of like a boat. And again, we have to join the two ends together. So as you already know, we just have to do another slip knot. And just like the previous step, chain one, flip your work around, and then just do the exact same thing that you've been doing. We're going to aim to get up to around 6 inches and then we'll meet back. Once you get to your desired height, we still have to make the last row of this section. This last row is different because we have to start cinching it and making the opening a little bit smaller. So as always, chain 1, flip your work and we're going to make 3 half double crochets. And then we're just going to skip the next stitch and we're going to go to the next one and once again do three more half double crochets again we skip one and then we go to the next one and make three more half double crochets and you're going to do this for the entire row and then we'll meet back at the end. Now that we're back here, we're just going to do another slip knot in order to join the two ends together. Now this is a tricky section because we're going to start to make the strap. You chain one, and then we're going to do a slip knot at the stitch right next to it. So just do a slip knot or a slip stitch 
and now we're ready to do the strap. To begin the strap, just chain one, flip your work over, and then we're going to make three half double crochets. This part was a little difficult because the stitches were really tight. Once that's done, we're going to chain one and then flip the work again. So if you guys already got the pattern, we're just going to keep doing this. Doing three half double crochets, chain one and then flip and then do it all over again until you get to the desired length of this strap that you want. This length could vary from person to person because some people like their shoulder bags really tight, some like it to be a little longer. You can even make it super long so that it crosses over your body, like a cross body bag. But yeah, so this is the length that I have. It's about like, like a foot and a half, sort of. Now all we have to do is attach the other end to the other end of the bag. Before cutting the yarn, we have to secure the end, so make a chain and then cut the yarn. And then you're just going to pull it all the way through until it's secure. And now we're just basically going to sew the strap to the other end of the bag. And you can do this however you like, but I found that doing it vertically works the best for me. It looks clean, it feels very secure, and I did it very quickly as well. And once you're done that, just make sure that you tie a knot to secure it in place and then weave the ends before cutting the yarn. Also, this is a reversible bag, so either side will work, but I find that sometimes one side looks better than the other, so you know, choose whichever side is the cleanest. And yeah. There you have it, we have our finished crochet cloud shoulder bag. We're not adding any liners or zippers, this is just as simple as it gets. I finish it in around an hour, an hour and a half. And yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial.